Hello guys, Christian Vere here. In today's video I will tell you why you should never breathe out when trying to swim far distances underwater. But first, when you're practicing holding your breath or swimming underwater, you should never be alone. Always have someone to rescue you if you get in trouble or pass out. So let's just get into it. People give a lot of different advice when it comes to how to deal with the painful feeling of running out of air when swimming underwater. Let's say you're trying to swim 50 meters underwater. Some people would say you should start breathing out about halfway through your uh, dive. Others say you should breathe out a little bit from time to time. Both these are horrible advice. When trying to hold your breath either statically while laying still or while swimming, you are building up CO2 in your lungs. This is what creates the feeling of need to breathe. When you feel the need to breathe, if you then breathe out, you will be breathing out some of the CO2 in your lungs and the breath hold becomes less painful. But you will also be breathing out some of the oxygen in your lungs. So even though it's less painful to hold your breath when breathing out, you are dramatically shortening how long you actually can hold your breath. So if you can handle the pain of the CO2 build up in your lungs, you can swim much longer than if you're starting to breathe out halfway through your dive. I hope you liked this video and if you want to see more advice like this, consider subscribing to this channel, hitting the bell and have a nice day!